for my people make you lie down. Oh, yo, yo, my people don't come. Oh, yo, yo, my people make we shut down. Oh, yo, yo, my people don't come. Oh, yo, yo, my people don't come. Man of the masses. Oh, yo, yo, my people don't come. Oh, yo, yo, my people don't die at the politico. Oh, yo, yo. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk? He do they talk? Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day then they tip money in buck. Woman picking they the street they hawk. Still them talk say make we no talk. But thank God say my egun don't come. So my people make you love. Oh yo yo, my egun don't come. Oh yo yo, my people make you shut up. Thank you very much for joining me. Share the broadcast, invite everyone that needs to be here and those that probably should be here as well because Bayegu is here. Thank you very much. As you are joining the broadcast, like I said, share the broadcast, okay? Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. And good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. And as usual, yes, this is Mayegu. Live. Thank you. Ani esuraki. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me. So I'm going to open the line tonight. So which means I'm going to spend the first half an hour or possibly an hour of this uh, first part of the broadcast, okay? And then uh, I'll open the line for everyone who wants to probably add their own voice to add their voice. So if you have read the caption of the broadcast, which is the writer, Buhari is in London resting or chilling while terrorists uh, invaded uh, a village in uh, Katsina, where Bukwari comes from. Yes. Femi Okonu Adeshino said, you have not been encouraging him enough. 24 hours after making that statement, the terrorists, they struck again. As usual, some of you are probably bored with the news now that uh, it doesn't really shock you anymore. But we are talking about, uh, excuse me, we are talking about uh, human beings, yeah, which could be you at any point in time. Yes, they invaded uh, Shemfida village uh, in Jibia, local government areas, uh, an area where they kidnapped 11 people. The number of the people they killed are yet to be uh, ascertained for human beings who are in London. I know say, you know, you cannot shame the shameless, they say, but we should always remind uh, the shameless about the shame that they are not uh, shameless uh, or let me say shameful of, so to say. So we're going to talk about that. It's here for medical, shameless people. And meanwhile, I don't know if it's just me or you feel the same. I have not heard from uh, Kolu and his team in the last, in the, I mean, in the last uh, one week. 
So then I felt maybe, you know, if you don't see your neighbor, you should sometimes ask. We know that Bukwari is in London chilling for medical. Maybe, maybe not. Eh? I have not seen Kolu for a while, and we all know the drill. Eh? So I just thought I should remind you, I have not heard from Kolu and his people uh, in the last uh, 40, I mean, the last uh, one week. So we'll talk about that. I, have, I also have some updates for you. In fact, maybe we should start from where the updates I have for us. On our fundraiser, what has been going on behind the curtains? And where are we? And where are we headed? Where are we going in all of this? We chose to take a position, remember, as uh, Yorubas in the diaspora, in collaboration with the Yorubas in Nigeria. And we decided that we're going to take a stand, change the direction of uh, what this Yoruba nation truly should mean to an average Yoruba man or a Yoruba woman, a Yoruba son or and a Yoruba daughter. So we want to change that. We said that we're going to take uh, a stand. So we started with uh, our displeasure with uh, our displeasure. I mean, sorry, displeasure on uh, the illegal detention of Oluye Sondego and so many other people that have been persecuted by Nigeria. So you see, all of this brought us together initially. And within two weeks, when we decided to intervene, when we said, no, we want to put our foot, we want to put our feet on ground and then uh, put boots on ground, we're not just going to be talking anymore. Do you understand that now? How do we make the request for Yoruba Nation, the peaceful referendum requested, how do we make it the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the mission, the goal, the, 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 uh, you know, what else can I compare it to? The, the everything that uh, a, a, I mean, an average Yoruba man, Yoruba woman can associate with. Because it is theirs. How do you make them understand that? So we decided that uh, we're going to take some few steps. So I spoke, uh, I spoke with uh, Alano, uh, Professor Banji Akintoye, for about uh, 50 minutes uh, today um, after our, uh, you know, our previous uh, charts. And I'm going to tell you about uh, what we discussed, uh, you know, briefly. And also to let you know that I will be bringing him here on my Egun's Diary Politico uh, tomorrow, uh, which is going to be on uh, Sunday uh, by 4 p.m. If you can set your time, if you set your time for Nigerian time, which is 4 p.m. So Alano said that would be the Odudua time. I said yes. Okay, 4 p.m., which is going to be 3 p.m. in the UK. There's so many things going on behind the scene, but you deserve an update on the one we are currently, uh, you know, involved actively, not the one we will be, you know, we'll be getting involved uh, in. So, and I think I should start my update from that. You know, I think I should start my update from that. That's the most interesting part of this conversation tonight. Okay? Yeah, I think people will agree with me that we should start from the updates. Yes. Uh, I also spoke with uh, Oloye Sonde Igbo Osha himself today. And the reason why I actually had that conversation with him was because of uh, the upfront payment we gave uh, to our lawyer. Are you with me? Um, hang on. Somebody is saying that uh, the time is, the clock is changing tonight in the UK. I am not so conversant with that. So uh, if I find out, I will possibly, you know what I mean? But let's start with the updates. It is the most important part of this conversation, okay, tonight. When we decided to get involved, we said we're going to raise money. And people said, yeah, let's do it. So many people agreed that we should do it. We should do that. We trust you, Mayegu. We trust you. And we also trust your judgment, especially how you think we can turn this around. That was a huge responsibility, backed by over 700 people that cut across Yoruba, Awusa, Igbo, and all of that. Go and check their names there. That was a huge responsibility, which I was so honored to take. 
Yes, I was so honored and still very much honored. So in two weeks, that mandate was backed with nearly 30,000 pounds. A ratio you can put at uh, nearly 22 million naira. That was a statement, not even the money. And so far, so good, we have done well. What is the update? Yes, out there, we currently have uh, over 27,000 uh, pounds. I believe 27,195 uh, pounds. And from our PayPal uh, receipts, I have not received any new donation. But the last time we calculated, we were somewhere around 3,746 or something. Then I got this 100 pounds through the Diaspora Radio Cash Plus, 100 pounds. That was after the initial 50 pounds that was uh, donated by that our beautiful mother. You remember that, uh, uh, that our lady who called twice and was so, so uncomfortable that she was unable to make contribution towards this fund. And I advised that she, that she could make a bank transfer. Yes, that was the first one we got prior. And then I got another 100, which I also told you about. I've not received anything from them. That is why the give, send, go you have out there is the one that you can see easy update because if anybody gives anything in there you can easily tell oh the number has uh, has increased however what the give send go does is that you see when you make donation like that they don't give that money to the receiver they will keep it for five working days which can be up to seven working days including weekends to wait for you if you will change your mind. If you change your mind, you can easily go there and cancel your donation and your money will be back in your bank. So that is why when they now release this fund, they don't release all you see out there. Do you understand? So far, so good. I have received over, to, well, let me put, give you a figure, 25,000, not from just give, send, go. I'm talking about uh, from our PayPal, and give send go. I have uh, received uh, a total of uh, twenty five thousand one hundred and sixty five pounds. Now I may not be able to give you the exact uh, equivalent of that in naira now, but I'll tell you what I have done so far. So we said that uh, even though we set this up as a legal aid for everyone being persecuted, we also planned. So at least then we never knew that they will release the Luge Sunday this fast. Yes, they didn't let us even spend a dime to get him out. However, we all concluded that, uh, listen, there are so many other things that uh, Oluye Sunday will we need personally. Many, many of them that uh, we are willing to undertake or override for him based on our intervention uh, plan. Well, in the last uh, one week, from our fund, from our savings, from what I have been, I mean, from the funds released to me so far, I have managed on his own authorization, Igbo to start with, the first payment we made out of our money was to pay our lawyers, the ones we were gathering, as uh, the bulwark, as the tiger face that will champion and put action to our words. And it will no longer just be words on social media. There will be words with life of its own. On his approval, we gave uh, 2 million naira as an upfront uh, deposit of this legal team. They've actually been calling and calling and texting. What do you want us to do now? What do you want us? Do you want us to return your money? 
I was like, uh, you, will ha- you will have to hang on. I didn't give you that money on my own volition like that. It was uh, because Uluye Sunday Igbo said he was comfortable with you and he, was, he would be happy to work with you. Now that the whole thing is no longer legal presently, I am going to need to consult with him before any other decision is taken about that money. Some of you have already told me, Mayegun, we'll leave that money with that lawyer. No, 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 it's not over. I know it's not over. But majority of what we are doing right now is pretty much about other arrangements. And the legal part of it is completely not that, 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 that great or that uh, useful right now as we speak. But there's always something I love. Ijawa, Ijaosi, always guiding. We have the money, and therefore, we should always be guided and ready. So until I spoke uh, with Toloye Sunday, Bo, it was the first person I spoke to today. And from our conversation, I just, it was very brief. And mind you, let me explain the money we've paid out first so that I'll get to the part of the conversation, okay? So yeah, we paid our lawyers up front, which we probably won't need for now. Then the welfare of then the Oluye Sunday Guru demanded then that uh, well I asked what what else would you need I mean you are there we can help if you want in any other way and according to him he would prefer we don't even touch the money leave it there let it rise it is going to be useful. And because we trust you, because I trust you, Mayegun, he calls me general. Because I trust you, don't give anybody anything. I don't really need anything. Then he agreed with me that even if he doesn't really need much, his uh, welfare is still pretty much a top priority. This was a uh, few hours before his release. And he agreed that uh, we can make provision for his welfare. I'm not going to really go into details of that. However, so far so good. We have made provision of uh, two million naira for the for his welfare, among other things, which I won't tell you for obvious reasons. Right? We don't really have to say everything, do we? Good. So we've made that provision for him, making the money we've released, which is authorization to four million naira. In my book. I'll give you the pound sterling equivalent soon. Then when Oloye Sunday Bo was released on this platform, we agreed that even though we've always wanted to help, but we've never had a means of really reaching out to the leaders. I'm, I'm talking about the elders who have stood their ground around Oloye Sunday Igbo in their own best possible ways. They kept everything in the news. They kept the lawyers, uh, you know, they kept the wheels of the, of the legal team rolling. And somehow, many people contacted me and they were like, uh, we, we, we want to help. Why are you going to do something? We couldn't because we had no clear communication with who or who at the time. People were doing these things in pieces, in piece by piece, which is part of why, uh, as they all also agree, that it contributed to the slow way of how this whole thing has been going, including the legal parts. How can we be of help? On this platform, we agreed that even if it is going to be for a starter, why don't we take care of the welfare of Alano? as well as those who have been working with them. Whatever the cost is going to be, as long as it is within range, not alarming, why not, if not? So when you approve of that on this platform, what did I do? I reached out. In fact, they reached out to me because many, many of them are now watching Mayegun's diary political religiously. It is reliable. Mayegun is dependable. He is trustworthy enough with everything that comes out of his mouth. He is not perfect, but he is tested and trusted. So they reached out. 
We watched that your program on this, this and that. We can make an arrangement. I am personally in the know of the welfare of Baba. Oh, in fact, when it comes to his medical, oh, when it comes to this and that, I was like, great. That's what we want to do. Our intention is not to override or, in fact, eh, challenge or compete with those who have been doing this. And many, many of them have been doing it without any thanks. You know, they say it's a thankless job to say you want to liberate people. It will take time for them to trust you. And before you can hinder trust, it is a thankless job. So if they will appreciate us to, to be part of this, why not? So they made it happen. I spoke with Baba, as well as uh, Professor Wali Adeniro. Yes, I spoke with the, two, I mean, with the two of them. And they told me point blank where they would love us to be. Come on, if you want to come in when it comes to their welfare. That was when we gave approval to 1.7 million era for that. So now put all this together, you'll be getting 5.7 million era. That is possible because of your money, because of your generosity, and because of your faith. You know, I told you I don't have trust issue. Maybe because I don't have trust issue and I can actually work with everyone and anyone until they prove themselves otherwise. Maybe that is why I end the trust of those who believe that I can also trust my ego until he proves himself otherwise. So I end it and I'm utilizing it. It is very powerful. And trust me, I cherish it. They appreciate it. They love it. And when I screamed out that uh, we can use this momentum to build on something bigger, they couldn't resist. This guy, people have told me about him. Is so this and that. Why is everybody saying positive things, possible positive things about this guy? Of course, definitely. Maybe that is our prayer answered. Now they are coming up with something bigger. However, don't forget our two million era that is still with the with the lawyer. That was what prompted my conversation with Oloye Sunday Igbo this morning. I had to talk to him. As I'm talking to you right now, my phone is ringing. That is the lawyer calling me because he missed my call. It was after I spoke with Oloye Sunday. I remember JJ, if he's watching. JJ said, Mayegu, leave that money with that lawyer. He is going to be so useful. And we are not going to start any fundraiser to pay for lawyers. You see the money you have. If I have my way, if we have our way, keep it and keep the account of it. I don't know if many of you are actually reading the minds of Oloye himself, Igbo, or Igbo has been, he has been watching this program himself, right? So I spoke with him today. And guess what? When I asked, the lawyers want to know what do you want to do with the money? And I think we, it's time we decide. You gave an approval for it. What do you think we should do? <laughs> Straight to the point. Mayegun, leave the lawyer, leave the money. The two million, yes, leave him and leave the money. I don't know if the lawyer is even watching me right now. So if you are watching, sir, I was calling to tell you this, that we are going to have you to keep the money. Keeping the money on our behalf so that when we now rearrange the entire house, we are looking for a responsible, fire blazing, no prisoner keeping law firm that believed in the legitimacy of people to demand for self-determination. And that is exactly what uh, the, uh, this chamber represents. So here I am. I have been given that clearance that the lawyer can keep the money. And it will even be paid more whenever a service is finally activated. Ijawa, Ijawsi, always guiding. I love that. So let's put that into a figure in pound sterling, 5.7 million naira. In fact, it's 5.8 million naira. I'm uh, sorry, 5.7 million naira. And then uh, if you had all of that in our own pound sterling, in my book, it simply put it at uh, 7,000, sorry, 7,933 pounds. Now that is clear, I mean, close to 8,000 pounds. 
Now, 8,000 pounds out of 25,000, 100, and uh, what of you that I have attained, so you can easily tell. Mayegu, we know the balance because that's the balance. Take that out of the 25,000, you will get 17,000 and some change. That is where we are right now. How much do we have in our savings, Mayegu? We have uh, 17,000 pounds. Clean, clear. As we get to Monday, some of your donation, even though they have slowed down now, give, send, go, we begin to release them again. 200, 400, 600, 120, 47. That's how they release them in, in batches. And as they come in, I keep record of them. As I spend them, you get to know what we spend them on. Igbo said, Mayegun, don't give anybody any cover again. And that's what I'm going to do for now. So you can go to sleep tonight and say, in the last uh, three weeks, the Yorubas and their friends in the diaspora, they decided to intervene in the abuse of, uh, you know, of human rights against uh, the patriotic Yoruba sons and daughters who are bold enough to stand up and say, Omo Yoruba ni me. And within that space, your money, my money, our money has managed to raise to spend over 5.7 I mean, 5 million naira. Now, who says there is no power in number? Who says there is no power in unity? If you are looking for unity that is practicable, then maybe you should join my Egon's Diary Politico and see how it works. Do you understand that? Just see how it works. It is black and white. Anything else that is becoming abracadabra, uh, uh, grammar, and uh, you know, uh, you know, economically, uh, twenty-five percent this and that story. If I cannot be this clear, anything else, that story. Now, how can we use this momentum and then uh, move from complainers to? The changes, if it is not working, fix it. If it is not fixable, break it totally. And that is the state Nigeria is. The unity of purpose, the unity of mission, the goal that says our liberty is more supreme than any other arrangement that is contrary to that. Anything that makes us secondary is not in our interest. If they tell you, yes, Yoruba is great, Yoruba is this, but you know what? As Nigeria, Nigeria is bigger as a country, we should come together. That is undermining who you are. And the only way to stop them eh, is to what? Is to move from complainers to changers. We will change it. Whatever it takes. It took us three weeks to change a lot of perceptions and, uh, you know, ideas and uh, feelings and all of that. Three weeks. That is something that those who work uh, with numbers, statistics, they will sit down and be like, wow, how did you do that? It's because people have always wanted it. Can't you see that? Oh, let us raise money. Let us do this and that, blah, 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 blah. And then... Boom, 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 everywhere, bust. Over 22 million era raised within three weeks. Conveniently, comfortably, like saying nothing. Because people wanted it. You wanted it. That's why you dipped your hands into your wallet. You brought out your own, uh, you, your own uh, credit card, debit card, from wherever you are all over the world, and you took those link with faith because you wanted it. How can we then make that have the life of his own right there in Yoruba land? Now, imagine that. Just imagine it. 10 million Yorubas, they want Yoruba nation. How do you think Nigeria 
I'm talking about the politicians, even Yoruba politicians who have been part of this rigged system. How do you think they can contain and suppress 10 million people who want something? That is the practicability of my theory. And if you still don't believe in it, you are not paying attention. You are not. It is not even the money. How much did they raise? Oh, they raised 30,000 pounds. It is not the money. Go and look at the numbers behind the money. One person can give us 30,000 pounds. How much is 20 million era? There are people who are Yorubas who believe that uh, Yorubas should have it better than what, the, what we have in Nigeria today. And nobody, nobody is pushing that. What they are pushing is that uh, Yoruba should take what they have and be contented with it and wait for the better time in the future. Maybe something will happen. In fact, maybe a Yoruba president will make them better. No! There are Yorubas who believe that Yorubas deserve better. But there are no, no, no real people pushing that with Nigeria. They have the money. They can write the check of, you know, I, I mean, on this Mayogun's diary political, some of you are watching me. You can write a check of 10, 10 million. I can bet it. I can bet it right here if it was actually like uh, they want to do it uh, publicly this way. I bet it. There are people who can write a check of 10, 10, 10, 10 million and there are more than 100 watching this broadcast right now. So go and check the numbers. They made up that, that money. Over 700 people. Some people donated two times, three times, four times, five times. With one belief, this money where they put here, it will be effective. And it is effective today. I can't tell you how much of this welfare, Oluye's welfare, that that two million naira is going into. And how much that is also going to affect the entire advocacy generally. You know when Igbo is safe and sound, eh? that we know that it's completely safe and sound. No threat of anybody saying, ah, they want to rendition him, oh. they want to kidnap him and force and take him to this and that, oh. to save everybody from that agony, from that kind of fear, when we have now taken care enough that uh, Igbo is completely safe. You will see the effect of that in the long run. But your money made us make it possible for us to get involved. And there is no time that Igbo is on the phone that is not so, so, so happy. You get what I mean now? And it possibly, if I can talk him into it, I can talk him and say he should possibly call in into Mayegun's diary political just to let you all know that uh, how grateful and how happy he is and how confident, knowing that when I tell you, I say, uh, Oloye, we have this, this, and that. Oh. And that means if you change it to your Naira, it is this, this amount. Oh. So I want you to put your mind at rest. Whatever you need, anything you need, just ask. And before you know it, it will be there because I know a lot of things going on right now. Your money made that happen. Your one pound, five pound, ten pound, ten dollar, twenty dollar, ten thousand naira, twenty thousand naira. All of those things, all of them made that happen. And it's still going to do more. We are going to embrace this momentum. Do you know another advantage of this is that apart from money, the number of people, 700 people, 700 Ah, we can turn it into 7 million. Imagine if 7 million people now say they want Yoruba nation and they now put their resources together. Hey, hey, 7 million. One million of you all over the world. Six million back in Yoruba land. I'm trying to imagine it. And I'm, I, I'm, I am encouraging you to just close your eyes and imagine that for a minute. And just, yeah, do this. Just close your eyes and do that. And see 
an open land where you see sea of heads. Yeah, sea of heads. You can't identify any face. You can't recognize many yet. But as you close your eyes, imagine a space of 7 million people. Ha, ha. You know, I once told us here that uh, the resources of Yoruba land is not the gold, it's not the oil, it's not uh, all the resources they are talking about, the, uh, the natural resources. It is the human resources. If there is an ideology that can make that 7 million committed, like the 700, it is finished and it is over. And that is something that is huge. And social media will play a big role in achieving that with uh, what we have done so far so good. I want you to imagine it same way I imagined what it would be like if we all come together and not just talk, talk, talk. This time around, walk the talk. And before I could open my eyes, you made that happen. It is happening. Yes, it is happening. Many, many of us were so happy that the 100% believed that it was because of our action on Maya Gun's diary political. That is why Benin Republic released the lawyer Sunday. I don't, I don't want to bust your bubble, okay? It's a very good feeling. It could be part of it, but it is actually not the main reason, right? But it simply means our move is positive before we even start. We have been receiving positive and positivity. Now we have to build on it. We'll build on it. There's a lot that is going to go into this. So when I spoke to, when I spoke with uh, Alano, Professor Banji Akintoye today, he was so, so, so thankful as well. He was so, so, so grateful. And they have decided that they are already muting an idea where we can have what they call Yoruba Rescue Fund. And I love the idea. The idea is to ensure that, uh, because if you begin to probe, you will realize that even if there are people who have their own uh, misunderstandings in uh, this Yoruba struggle, do you understand? There are, there are different, different uh, groups uh, whose uh, goal is uh, to enlighten, advocate, and then uh, realize the independence of uh, Yoruba uh, nation. So part of the in-house, uh, you know, kind of uh, infighting stuff and all of that has also slowed down. They've slowed down the progress of uh, uh, this uh, kind of advocacy uh, back in Nigeria, online, even outside Nigeria. So one thing about this uh, Yoruba Rescue Fund, when they brought the idea to me, was that uh, it's good. It simply means it can bring everybody together letting them know that if Yorubas raise money, they want to raise that money for the Yorubas uh, cause. They are not raising the money just because of uh, their love for one individual or two individuals. They want everybody who is interested in the, uh, you know, in the emancipation of the Yoruba land, genuinely, who can push the fight to the forefront and get supported, they will get the support from us. So people go in there, uh, and if you can see what we have done so far, apart from us who are the Yorubas, you have all other friends of ours who also believe in what we are doing. They supported them, uh, you know, they supported it uh, with their own resources and all that. So the idea is to make sure that uh, everyone who believe that, yes, we must have that conversation, the referendum conversation, and then uh, the living of Nigeria conversation. We must have that. So this kind of idea can bring everybody together because I know all of you watch me. You all watch me here. You know, they usually just, uh, when they watch my Egun, right, uh, this faction or that faction or that part or this part, they will pick up whatever they think is plausible to their own side. They will be like, hey, yeah, I agree with my Egun. Or, Others will feel like, oh, my ego is tilting towards this side more than us. So my ego is, you know what I mean? See, look at me here, right? 
like I said, I don't have any trust issue. If your agenda is indeed for the sake of the Yoruba people, then you have to be ready to work with others too, okay? That's the point. You must also drop your own, if you have trust issues. I know everybody have history, okay? And many, many of you have your histories as recent history, as recent, as recent as 2022. But listen to me, right? I believe that uh, we are not going to need saints. We are not going to, we are not looking for saints to come and lead and then, uh, you know, advocate for the Yoruba, uh, you know, referendum and all that, yeah? We are not looking for saints. We are looking for responsible people who are also going to show to us that they are responsible for all their actions and all of that and responsible to the people they claim that they want to free. I love the fact that uh, if you have people on your side, the battle is half won. So I don't care about your history. I don't care about your fight. I don't care about your uh, differences, right? If you still strongly believe that a Yoruba nation is a, is, is, you know, I mean, is a necessity, yeah? Then you should bring yourself and brace yourself into the whole arrangement so that you can find a role or a place fitting into somewhere and help make this make sense. Do you understand? So that's what I'm going to be discussing with uh, Professor Banji Akintoye uh, tomorrow when he showed up, when he comes on Mayogun's Diary Political to talk more about uh, what they think, where and how they think we can be of help or how we can be involved or, in, you know, in all of this. Uh, and the part of what he told me was that uh, they have all this whole thing mapped out. There is going to be committees for this or that. Their job is to go on and deliver, get uh, supported. And when they deliver, they'll come back and report that. And I mean, in it all, we want to see things happening. How do we make sure of that? That is the coordination that uh, we'll be discussing on Mayagun's Diary Political uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, that's where we are. And if you have any question for me, yeah, you can always pick that call. I'll pick up your phone. And it's all, always WhatsApp call, remember? Okay. You can always pick up your phone and they talk to me. All right. I know I told you I was going to use a half an hour, but it's actually worth it because this is why most of you are actually here. You just want to know, Mayegun, what's going on? What should we know? What's going on? I mean, what was the latest? The latest is that uh, we are fine. Okay. We are fine. Some of what they are doing behind the scene, right? Some of them are better left completed before we tell you about them. I actually love that, okay? You know, it's so sad that Oluye uh, uh, Sunday was discussing with me on Friday, I mean, oh, sorry, a week before uh, it was released, we we're talking. And then we we're talking about the lawyer and what we we're going to do and all that, right? And at that point, it was like, you know what? They gave me this deal. You see, this deal, I have signed it. I have done everything. They're going to let me go unconditionally and all of that. And uh, so I'm thinking we should wait before we launch any legal attack. I said, well, that's fine. How long? I mean, till when? He said, well, I expect them to come back to me on Thursday. So by Thursday, we'll know if I'm going to be released or not. So, so maybe we're going to need a lawyer or not. So on Thursday, no, they, did it. they didn't give him that deal. Why? Somehow, somehow. Some people who heard about it, they broke the news. They, you know, the Benin Republic. When many of you in Nigeria, when many people in Nigeria who don't want Igbo, who thought Igbo was going to die in prison in their own warped imagination, right? Uh, Benin Republic media was awashed with the plan that Igbo was going to be released. I don't even know how Nigeria media missed that, right? So when that news broke in Benin Republic, somehow, somehow, their president decided that, uh, no, it's not going to be released that time. And in fact, it's never going to tell anyone when it's going to be released. So on Friday, when I was talking to him, I said, well, I've got the lawyer. I have the lawyer on the phone. Now I have the lawyer on the phone. What do you think? This deal didn't come. It seems like the same deal they offered you in December, that it didn't come, that didn't happen. So what do you think? It was like, my ego, I go ahead. I told you, I reported back to you that time. Yeah. But I didn't tell you that it was going to be released. Reason is because some information are better left to be matured, completed. Yes, some people may be in haste simply because they will listen, they will hear it and they will be like, hey, yeah, is that all right? Is that true? Ah, no, they will bust into town and all that. Most of those things always kind of, uh, 
they always kind of uh, jeopardize plans. So the few that I know, you're not going to hear so many things from me. Some of them, you are going to see them as breaking news. I can tell you 100% that I am also involved. I'm talking about when it comes to his safety, his protection, and so many other things behind the scene. Yeah, I am 100% involved on your behalf because you gave me that mandate to get involved. And I am very, very much uh, involved in that. So wait for that. And uh, you can ask me any question or your own addition as well when that time, when we get to that part. So we're talking about Bokwari in London. And we're also talking about a Kolu disappearing. Among it all, yeah, we don't know what is going on. Let me go and get some tea break. I will manage my next 10 minutes, right? I will try and manage that. When I manage my 10 minutes to just talk about this, I will open the line. I've missed talking to some of my friends. I've actually missed talking to you. So when I get back, we will continue. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. 